All right, Latifa, what have we got here? What is it? Uh, we got a par five. Obviously, it's a massive dog leg to the right. I mean, what do we do? How far is it to that tree at the end there? Carry the tree straight, tall tree, 200 meters. 200 meters, yeah? Yes. And what is the line from here? Because we're obviously heading a little bit longer. Okay, yes. which, which tree do we go at? What, what line can we take? The, the tall green one? The dark green? Yeah, leg? tall green. Okay, so with a little, with a little, okay, maybe a little cut of the tall green tree, yeah? All right, we're happy. Thank you. You're welcome. This whole golf course is just absolutely breathtaking. It's, I sometimes find it difficult to concentrate on my golf because I'm looking around and just in, taking in the views. It's definitely a place I would recommend people to come to as well as I'll definitely come back 100%. All right, we're through the first three holes on the back nine. Uh, obviously 10, 11, 12. 10 is a lovely little par four. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. There's jungle on the left. Um, it's amazing how this course is being cut right into the jungle. Um, you feel closer to nature than, than most courses. In fact, 90% of the courses I've ever played, and I live in South Africa, so I've played on golf courses in the game reserve. So you, you really feel close to nature here. It's fantastic. So it's a little downhill par four. Uh, for me, it was just a little flip driver and a, and a little flick wedge. The part three following that is fantastic. The tee box is cut right into the jungle, elevated tee box. It's only a little nine iron down the hill onto the green. Uh, relatively straightforward little par there. And then this par five. Now, if you just look up on, onto the right there, all that bush over there, that's what you've got to carry on, the tee, on your tee shot. Um, so for a longer hitter, you can actually take a, a, quite a crazy line. Um, we, we didn't quite pick the line correctly, but you can hit right over the tallest part of that bush carried onto the fairway and you've probably only got a six or a seven maybe even an eight iron into the green uh, unfortunately pulled my tee shot a little bit left and uh, struggled to get to get up onto the green but if you, if you carry over uh, over that bush I mean you've got a little short iron in so the next time I play I'm definitely going to take a more aggressive line we shoot into the next three holes I'm a couple of shots down to my my partner over there Steve -o. but uh, hopefully make, pull a few back here need to make some birdies So how far have I got to the flat? 120 yards, sir. Uh, so what's that, about 100 meters, eh? Yes, Okay, so what do you recommend I use? Pitching. You, th you think pitching wedge? I think it's a good club, actually. Okay, let's see. Uh, just a word on course management, I've just uh, smashed a driver, I was handed a driver on the tee box and uh, I climbed into it and I've hit it too far, so now I've got somewhere, I've got about 55 yards to, to the flag, which is an awkward shot, especially to try and stop it over here, obviously a fuller swing produces more club head speed, more spin on the golf ball, it stops quicker on the green, so here I can't actually hit the ball as hard as I'd like to, 
So I've got to play a flick little sandwich. So for the longer hitters, it's really important to check the yardages on the tee box. Now, even if you're hitting driver great and you're hitting it down the middle, you've got an awkward shot in. This is potentially a, a bogey being made over here because if I decelerate, I can hit into that trap. If I accelerate too much, I hit it over the back of the green with a lob wedge. So hopefully I'm not going to. I don't want to get those negative thoughts in the head. But course management, obviously I'd like to hit a nice full wedge into the green. 100 yards in or 100 meters would be ideal. It was just a bit, bit of a silly call from the tee box, but uh, either way, I'm going to hit it stiff, make birdie, and uh, put that theory out the window. Connect. We've just set our drives down here. It's a uh, hard dog leg par five. Um, it looks like there's an island fairway that we need to hit on, but we can just see a huge elevation drop. So we're probably looking to hit about a six or a seven iron. Um, I've short sided myself. I hit my, my ball a little bit left. So I need to uh, probably hit about an eight or a nine iron to try to float it onto the fairway, leave myself a wedge in. Um, what are you playing over here, mate? Probably going to take, pick a seven, yeah, play it up to the nice. top level. That's it. You know, course, course, course management. Yeah, course management. Don't get silly. Uh, we don't know what's left. It looks like a lot of trees, a lot of out of bounds. So uh, let's not hit it left. Right, so course management is the, the, call of the call of the day over here. Please go. Oh, 
All right, guys, now we're on the 17th. Beautiful, overlooking the mountain. Waterfall in the middle of the, of the river there. Just finished a tough little par three downhill, 135 meters. Yeah, tricky free path. But um, now it looks like I've got about 170 yards. What's that, about 155 meters into the stick, uphill green. Probably gonna nudge a little six iron, try and get it close. Maybe make a birdie. The candy that we are in today is she's absolutely fantastic, world class. You know, she's yeah, she's very helpful, so courteous, um, extremely friendly person, and very very knowledgeable. You know, she's able. You no, know, we used to playing in meters, and she's able to take your yardage and convert it back to meters in like an instant, which is extremely helpful helpful to all of us um, one other thing is she knows what what lines to give you she knows the course intimately so I would recommend that to anyone who, who comes and plays here fantastic experience thanks um, Latifa terima kasih you did a very fine job today it was a pleasure being with you keep up the good work all right, just uh, from my side, just fantastic caddy work. Just the way you laid down the pins on the side of the green, absolutely fantastic. Uh, your clubs and yardages were extremely accurate. So congratulations, very, very good to see. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Jeffa as well from me, thanks very much. I mean, anybody that comes and plays out, I'll ask them to, you know, to get you as a caddy. You were very good, well done. Thank you. <laughs> well done, my good. Thank you, sir. Must be nearly dead. Yeah, listen, man, it's hot out <laughs> Thanks here. Thanks so much, dude. Your, much appreciate Your first experience, how yeah. was it? Good. It's good. Good. Yeah. Will you be going with your dad again? Yeah. You're gonna start playing golf as well, eh? And yeah. you'll be you'll be this side nice of the camera next time. Nice to meet you. Eh? <laughs> good effort. Thanks, bro. All right, we've just finished the uh, 18th hole at Templar Park and what a day it was. It was absolutely fantastic out there. Uh, just a huge thank you to the guys at Templar for setting us up today. It was exquisite. Um, something you've got to do if you're living in Malaysia is come and play this golf course. The last three holes are, are superb to finish on. Little par three, uh, again it's only a little nine, uh, nine iron, possibly a wedge depending on the, uh, on the wind, what the wind's doing. It's straight downhill, lovely little hole. Tough little par four, straight up the hill, but uh, it's kind of a blind tee shot, so you're hitting a, a longer drive, leaves you a nine, possibly a wedge into the hole. Um, and then the par four to finish, it's fantastic. If you're a long hitter, again, you can bomb it right over the water. Uh, that leaves you a little flip wedge into the green. If you're not such a great hitter or long hitter, you can just bomb it up the, little, uh, up the right hand side. That'll leave you probably a six or a seven iron into the green, which makes the hole a lot tougher. Again, the greens are very, very narrow very very narrow to hit so they may be very wide but to get the yardage right is is absolutely the necessity around this golf course but once again if you look around it was just absolutely superb greens are in great condition the course itself is fantastically manicured I believe they're working on the fairways to get rid of all the firing gra grasses which is which is ideal I mean they've really got to do that but otherwise super day Archer thanks so much guys we loved our, loved our time here we'll definitely be back cheers Thank you very much for coming to Temple Park Country Club and uh, it's my honor to have you guys here today. And uh, today's winner is uh, Mr. Steven.
by one stroke. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Sir. Well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, by the way, just to introduce Mr. Cloud, Mr. Steven, Mr. Rick, and Mr. Mandi. Mr. Mandi is here for his first time in the golf course, and uh, it's our pleasure to have you here. And hope you'll pick up golf soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you.